I'm sure you're asking what uh, my involvement has been in this particular project. Uh, we got involved four years ago. Our company is five years old, so it's been around our company for the majority of the time. Uh, I work in the digital marketing recruitment agency that's based in Manchester, in the northwest of England. And um, we work with clients, we work with ad agencies, and we've recently launched a tax department to place people within uh, those particular environments and those particular companies. What the GEMS project saw in the candidate was an opportunity to speak to relevant people within the industry to get feedback you know, in, and on what this book would be about, what the contents of it would be about, or how the curriculum would look. And it really has been a, a, a process over the last three years to, to, to get this right and um, to do a, a great piece of research to understand how that's going to look. <coughs> From my point of view, um, I have been out there flying the flag for GEMS uh, and the candidate, uh, trying to understand uh, what uh, a good internship looks like. And uh, all of the different partners involved in this particular project, um, across all the partner universities, um, each spoke to a number of their own um, students and companies to try and get an understanding of what and why internships are important, and why they're important, and how it helps develop um, those particular students that are coming through the system, and what also um, the benefits are for the particular companies involved. Um, so we went away and we've, we've done that, we've now compiled all of these particular case studies, and I'm glad to say that actually some of them have, have, have been really, really positive in terms of being able to place people in, in jobs after doing periods of internship, um, with particular companies. Um, there have been uh, students from Bulgaria working in ad agencies on the client side. There have been a number of different students that um, uh, have been coming through uh, from Poland. And Bartek has helped um, with, with, with those particular internships. Um, we've also looked at examples from the UK, uh, Hotel Desk and uh, JMW, which is a, a law firm. Um, uh, in Lithuania as well, there's been a number of different internships that we've put a uh, case study together on. Um, also from Greece, um, the project itself ran a MOOC um, earlier this year, which Alexis already turned, uh, touched on, which is the massive open online course, which over 14,000 people took part in, and we've got some information from those. So there's lots of research in terms of, of, of exact, exactly what um, works for, for, for students and what works for employers from an intern point of view. And the background from all of these students, as you can see, was quite varied, whether it was actually a PR course or, or, or advertising or journalism or Spanish philosophy. It just shows employers and it shows students who want to come into marketing and digital marketing that their backgrounds are really quite varied. So when, when, as an employer, when you're actually speaking to these guys, it doesn't have to be that they're actually working on a digital marketing course, which brings positives whenever you're actually interviewing the guys that come forward. In terms of the different types of internships that exist, um, from an employer you can, you can look at bringing someone in um, on, a, on a 10 month placement which may be paid, or even, or even down to as short as a two month unpaid placement. So again, it doesn't matter how that is structured, whether it's from a payment point of view, uh, from a volunteer point of view, and I, and I know there's different rules um, for different countries across Europe, <coughs> and so it, 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 it really all, and it should be how it works for the particular employer and how the employment law and rules work in the particular companies, but I would highly encourage you to look at different models that actually do work. So there's a range of company types um, across the case studies that we looked at. So it's ad agencies, and I know there has been marketing service organizations involved today. We're looking at global corporate organizations and also SMEs. So whatever the title of company, um, that you, you belong to, and um, you should be you know, investigating these particular internships. And they, and they work across all the different sectors as well, so from healthcare, retailers, and, and, and travel. So, so, so no, no sectors and no size of companies so should be immune to progressing with offering an internship. So what were the objectives um, from the students um, and from the employers? So it's, if you're looking for hands-on experience, looking to put that academic activity that they picked up in uni to life, they're looking to see what the actual impact of social media is and looking at companies' objectives. They want to understand the clients, they want to work as a team, they just want to understand the customer behavior. They want to bring all the things together and really get out there into the real world. 
And, and certainly the interns that we've brought into our company in Canada have been able to do that at, at a significant pace as well, be able to, to pick up exactly what um, the company needs, what the customers need to see, and be able to devise a strategy based on that. So don't underestimate how quickly you can bring an intern up to speed if you bring them on board. <coughs> so following those objectives, what were the tasks uh, that they were looking at? And, and, and as you can see, it's from the um, quite basic um, you know, sort of writing up reports um, to actually more integrated activities from deploying strategies and rebound branding campaigns, creating brochures, and quite a lot of responsibility uh, placed on some of the, the interns who have actually went through this particular process. So you can see all of the different um, examples of what um, is possible for you as an employer or you as an intern who's looking for a placement. And that brings professional benefits, brings, uh, brings personal development. Uh, benefits, um, loads of activity, uh, uh, keywords, buzzwords, and, and skills to add to your CV <coughs> as, a, um, as an intern, um, from SEO, hands-on activities with softwares, and new softwares, and, and cutting edge, and also personal development in, in terms of organizational skills and, and those particular ones that are listed there. Uh, so, one of the examples a bit of a case study is on this particular link. My name is Joanna Ferreira. I'm the Digital Marketing Manager at Backbone Media. My name is Diana Polkita, and I was studying Masters in Marketing when I started my internship at Backbone Media. So I wanted to show you what benefits they actually got from this Probably from, the, um, from the internships. This is from there, so at the end. I think while working through my internship, um, Fastmo Media was really kind of gained the opportunity to have their brand, the image of the brand, to be a little bit more kind of emphasized online as well. Because a lot of the times marketing experts are working with the clients when it comes to agencies. But when there is a specific person or a specific team that works um, specifically for the brand itself, that is very helpful because then you can um, write better proposals for the future clients, focus on establishing the brand itself. I would employ Diana because we did. We recently offered her a full-time position. Um, she is now the digital marketing um, executive for Fastweb Media. So the Fastweb Media brand is, is almost entirely Diana's responsibility now. She looks after the website, she looks after the blog, she makes sure that everyone um, who's responsible for writing content delivers on time. She takes care of some of our PR. Um, so, you know, it's, it's really brought about a wealth of, of and it's, it's allowed us to grow our team as well. So hopefully that will continue. So just some advice, um, a couple of more slides to go. Some advice for an who are looking for a good placement. You want to be trying to find a company that has active campaigns or active marketing campaigns that you can actually run from there and, and, and on the job. Um, you want to be choosing a company that can actually invest the time and maybe has a track record and has case studies of people who've done it before. Um, a good mentor, a good boss, a good manager is something that uh, everyone claims is, is, is fantastic from a job whenever they can actually bring you up to speed with what you're doing. Please have a willingness to learn, be open-minded in terms of you know, who you're going to meet, the projects you're going to be working on. Speak to your colleagues, speak to your clients and learn. Just be a real sponge of information from the offset and, um, and, and, and know that it can be a springboard to a part-time job um, you know, after your studies or even during it. For the employers in the room, um, please open the door uh, for students coming in as an intern. Um, you know, interview your students just you would like, just as you would interview other people and other um, people that you want to employ. Um, have a plan for the placements. Is it a project or the time scales that are going to be involved? Um, agree to the objectives that you're going to both be work working on. You know, put someone in charge of the project that's going to be good. Um, don't overload them. And allow for errors because they do happen. Um, and, and hopefully you can both learn from that and introduce them, bring them along on the Christmas day if you dare. And, um, and also I think about potentially employing them uh, on a part-time basis afterwards. Uh, yeah, there's, there's quotes here and we've seen many successful uh, students come through uh, the GEMS project, um, certainly even on the Salford uh, business school side and the partner side and even at um, our side at the candidate. I can't stress enough 
how important it is for young people to get experience uh, whilst they're in studies uh, to significantly increase the chances of receiving and getting employment as quickly as possible when they leave. Uh, as an employer, you really should have a duty to open a program for interns and make that happen. And as a student, you really should be knocking on the door and trying to get employers to do that for you. Being that the entrepreneurs in the room, the corporates in the room, the SMEs in the room, and the academics should work together, like the education partners involved in this project, um, to make that work. Thank you.